Welcome back, everybody, to Oxygen Not Included, the Spaced Out Edition. So in our last episode, it was really just about um, kind of touching up the base, adding some things. As you can see here on the screen, we were uh, doing a number of uh, different little items uh, and then getting ready for some major exploration. And, and that's kind of what we're going to try to focus on for our episode today is as much exploration as possible. Now, in order to do that, uh, we need to accomplish a couple things. Um, you know what? I'm going to actually deconstruct all of this here. Oops, we, don't, we can't deconstruct a, a glow bug, a shine bug. <laughs> all right. Um, so they're going to finish up these last little pieces of pipe, and that'll get this pump going so that we can uh these will be irrigate irrigated and we can start growing uh those for suits and we've got this already ready it just needs to be hooked up to power so that we can make the suits um, it is a huge power hog so we'll have to be careful there um, how is our power grid by the way yeah we're fine 430 is fine on that all right and it looks like we can start this episode by not really getting a dupe. I mean, it would be nice to get some more, but we're not there yet. Instead, I think we're going to take this fertilizer because uh, in the future, fertilizer becomes a, a difficult thing. And in the meantime, we're still going to do research. Uh, we're going to research over here some of our sensors uh, because that'll be used for some automation. Um, automation is going to be really important because eventually colony has so many things to do your dupes have so many things to do that they just can't do it all and so when you try to do extra things um they just don't get the extra things done all right so we dug all this out that got us over here to see some things we might as well just dig through into this ice biome here um and dig into that we'll get some food out of the vending machine <laughs> Uh, and then on this side, this is, this is all new stuff. I've actually never used this. So there's a teleporter thing here. There's a, and a ceiling robot. I have no idea what these things do. That was non-functional. I've discovered a functioning teleportation device with pre-programmed destination. It appears to go to another planetoid. Okay, we can go to Smellora. For an unknown object. We haven't explored this planetoid, so... Okay. Wow, interesting. Okay, well, eventually... We can go there. Let's go back to... Vitalius, or whatever you want to call it, since that's where we're at. Somebody says they're starving. We got food. We don't have tons of food, but we got food. I don't think they're starving. All right, well, that's interesting. And it looks like we dug out over here as well. Um, so we were able to explore a little extra this direction. That's interesting. A teleportation device. Well, we don't want to go there yet. What's this here? This is a teleport receiver. Okay, so... Oh, whoops. Hey, I got a little data thing out of it. That's good. That's good for later research. Alright. Well, that's all advanced stuff. Can't really do any of it yet. We can make suits, though. <laughs> if we had the right supplies and we are short on reed fiber but eventually we'll be able to make suits and we're just going to make copper ones we're going to need 10 of them but we need reed fibers to do it so yeah might as well open that up it looks like these are growing now see there's some irrigation polluted water coming down here We've got the farmer using the farming station, which helps fertilize and increase growth speed and all that good stuff. So, cool. Oh, there we go. 
all those little oxygen masks. All right, well, um, until we get the reed fiber to make suits, we're still limited with our exploration in safe areas. Uh, meaning that, you know, where there's no, not a lot of slime. I mean, obviously we can come in and, you know, grab this, grab the slime, mine it out, all that good stuff. We also have all of this polluted water, so we are going to set up temporary um, pumps all over the place. Let's see, this is polluted water too, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so we're going to construct, build, destroy, you name it, <laughs> these pumps, um, and then just build cheap piping um, so that we can get this polluted water out of here. <laughs> we can use it for the farm here. Um, and that will also allow us to drain this water down. We can drain it down here and, and then drain this one into here and clean all this polluted water out and put it in our tank. Um, so that will be a goal. Uh, part of that goal, though, will mean that we need to take this. And we're going to need to come up over here and put a second outlet for polluted water. And the reason I'm putting a separate one is... You don't want it ever to get clogged your pipes and back up the water where you might need to drain your toilets and stuff. <laughs> we have one Atmo suit. That means we can start making the stations. No, we can't. We don't have enough metal yet. <laughs> so, yeah, we need, we need lots more metal. We need to get this advanced to the next machine, too. How much metal do we need for the station? Uh, for the checkpoint... Missing resources, refined metal, refined metal, 100, yeah. We must have used all the resource, all the refined metal. All right, well, keep making it. How's the heat in our base? Yeah, it is getting pretty hot there. Uh, we could cool it down really quick, though, if we need to. Just by using some ice. All right, well... Uh, let me see. We can uh, rummage that, grab that food. We can also uproot this um, and then take that wheeze wart and put it somewhere to cool things down like we did here next to our grill. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's uh, take a planter box and let's for now let's just put it down here next to this here so that we can cool this area down. That would be good. And then from an exploration standpoint, we need to start planning both exploration as well as farms, um, hatch farms. Our first checkpoint is going to be built over here. Are we able to build it yet? Not yet. Okay. How much re refined metal do we have? Refined, refined metals. Where are they? That's metal ore. Yeah, refined metal. We have 100 kilograms. No, we have zero kilograms available. Okay. So we're still making stuff with it. So, all right. Probably our power lines and stuff. Yeah, all of them are built. But, okay. Well, we'll get there. <laughs> Eventually, we'll get there. Are we spreading any disease? No. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, we're fine. Looks like our buddy buds are spreading uh, <laughs> floral scent everywhere. Good thing none of our dupes are allergic to floral scent. <laughs> that would be a disaster. Smell or Nobody here. <laughs> um, okay, so for Mo, I think what we'll do is we'll continue along the strength line. And then for Larry here, who is going to be really good with later on um, taking care of electrical engineering and stuff, uh, 
we'll get him going, but for now... He likes tidying. We'll, we'll give him some plumbing in case we need to take care of that. Yes. In case there's a mess, we can take care of it. <laughs> Alright. Um, oh, we can change this. We don't need to wash our hands going into the bathroom. We just need to wash our hands going out of the bathroom. <clears throat> so, what can we build next since we're waiting for metal? Um, not much, because we need the metal to build our next power farm. I guess we can plan out where we're gonna, how we're gonna do this. So, the first thing we do, the first problem we have with this is that there's a bunch of water right next to it. Um, and that's going to be tricky because we're going to want to build a um, wall around this. It doesn't have to be a very big room. So, for example, it can be just that. And that will be fine. We'll need a ladder there and we'll need a ladder on this side because we got to get up here to make or to dig out the ceiling. Uh, then what it's going to need is it's going to need a uh, gas pump. And we're going to make it out of gold so that it can withstand a little bit of extra heat. Um, and we're going to stick it right here. Next to the gas pump, um, a little ways off, we can just make out this out of copper. We need a gas filter so that we can only pull natural gas out of this to put into our power uh, power farm whatever you want to call it right um, so we're gonna stick it here and of course we're gonna connect that all right and then this one is gonna be the output for our power system and then this one will be another output of just you know junk air it'll rarely be used except for when someone goes in, goes in and out of this room um, which once it's all built created and we've turned it into a vacuum no one will go in and out of there but our problem is it's gonna flood it's gonna fill up with tons of water as soon as we start digging into this so we also need to prepare ahead of time how we're gonna handle that uh, so thinking that what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a ladder go down like this and i'm keeping it separate for now so that we don't accidentally dig through it and then we're going to drain all of this into the here. And we'll, we'll just collect a bunch of gold. Uh, we'll collect a bunch of items. Um, and we'll just drain all that water just into here. Um, in fact, we can go ahead and start that process. We'll just do that. And we'll do that. Um, and take out that gold, too. This will give us a lot of gold. We'll be exposed for a little bit, but that'll get us going. Now, of course, we're not done here. Um, we also need to put in some sensors. Uh, we need a gas sensor. And of course, we're out of, uh, we're out of, what are we using all of our? Did we build something out of this that, whoops. All of our wires that we had marked are already built. So what did we... Oh, it's all going to the Atmos suit for right now. That's what, where it's all going. It's all going here. So let's just... There, we'll pause that. <laughs> and now we've got our Atmos, Atmos sensor. So this is going to be our pressure sensor, right? Where did our farm go? We're going to stick it here um, with an automation wire. And basically what it'll do is... You know, unless the pressure inside here is at a certain uh, amount, it'll turn this pump off so that we're not running the pump all the time and wasting power. All right. Then we need to set up the power room. Where is this natural gas going to go? Well, it's going to go into a natural gas generator. Now, the natural gas generator is going to have some byproducts. A lot of heat is a byproduct. And also, it's going to drip a lot of polluted water um, out of it as well. And it's going to produce carbon dioxide that we're going to have to vent away. 
So we need to figure out what to do with it. Now, one geyser here, while it's active, can usually run three of these things. And these things put out a hefty amount of power, as you can see here if we select... When, whoops. Back to it. When we select it, it's going to generate 800 watts. We're at, we have a way to double that to 1,600 watts versus a coal generator, which is 600 watts um, and uses coal. This one is more renewable as long as the vent is working. Um, so we're going we're gonna to be able to utilize this. The question is, is where do we put our power farm that's going to have a lot of heat? Um, so ideally, it'd be great to you, if, if I build it in a cold area, it's just going to cook and melt all the ice. So what I think we'll do is we'll actually just we'll put it over here. We'll make it out of gold for now. Um, and we'll stick it, stick it over here uh, so that we can just uh, take advantage of just this area for some quick power. before Later on, we'll build a, a big, massive one. But for now, we don't need a huge, massive one. So we're going to put a door there. So we can put two of them. We're gonna do two for now. Now we're gonna need a mesh tile floor for all of the liquid to drip out. Uh, actually, that one's gonna be a door. So there and there. We're gonna need our battery So that that way they won't rend if we don't need to draw power from it. And then we're going to need um, a station. And this station is a power control station. All right. And then we can stick a door on here. We'll just stick it uh, right here. Cool. All right, uh, that means we need to put a door on this side. We can see all the natural gas is already escaping because of what we're, we're doing over here. This is going to be unbreathable natural gas. There we go. Um, we can go ahead and hook up the ventilation. So it's going to take it and input there and input here. And you can see there's an output. This output is carbon dioxide. So in this case, we're going to take this straight over here. And we're going to put it right here. I know, you, it's like, wait a minute, you're putting it inside your base? Yes, but there's we can grab the carbon dioxide and turn it into oxygen right here. Um, and it should be able to keep up with it. All right, so while they're working on that, let's check out our dupe. What can we get? Well, we're at 10. I don't want to expand yet unless we expand our food production. So we're going to get a wart seed. And we're going to plant a wart seed here. We got three of them we can plant. So let's take advantage of that. We'll stick one. Well, we didn't leave room over here. <laughs> um, but we're going to, we want to keep this area cool above our water. Uh, so we're going to stick one here, and we're going to stick one here. Okay. All right, well, they're working there. We've got our carbon dioxide out. Now, of course, we need power. So we're going to do a heavy watt power system um, because we're going to be generating a lot of power here. Now, our dupes don't like this stuff, this wiring. It's like, uh, it's a very decor negative thing. So we'll have to hide it, cover it up, hook it up, plan how we're going to utilize it. Oh, we also need to dig this out so that we can drip all this uh, polluted water down into here. So we'll eventually turn this into a little tank of polluted water here is what we're going to do. Um, and we can have a secondary a secondary polluted water tank um, somewhere. It'll probably be, well, it'll be a smaller one here, but oh, we won't, won't box it in yet. We're, we're gonna see what we need to do here first. 
Alright. Well, they've got a lot to build. We've got some plans. We can uh, give someone a skill. We've already got an electrical engineer. Of course, that's the only thing this guy likes. <laughs> Apparently, he's already mac Look, he's already red. That's why he gets stressed all the time. So we got to be careful there. So we'll just give him one. All right. Well, this is exciting. Two exciting things um, have happened in this episode so far. One, we found out we can teleport to another asteroid here. Um, I don't want to do that until we're ready with materials. Um, it looked okay, but I don't know where we're going to teleport to. And we've got our power system, our first power system in production, getting it ready. Uh, so that's great. Our um, pumps over here are set up. There's no power to them yet, but we're set up to start drawing uh, that polluted water out. And in fact, what I'm thinking of doing is that we're just going to create a temporary um, power system down here, I think. Yeah, I think so. Let's just, let's do that. We're going to stick it here. We're going to stick a smart battery next to it. We'll put the automation through. We'll go ahead and just put a four here. We can take this out later. And then what that allows us to do is we can just hook these two pumps up to this, and then once we've drained all the polluted water out of this entire area, um, we can just deconstruct it all. That'll be good, and that way we can just, for now, use that polluted water for our thimble reed farm, which you can see is doing great, uh, and then dump it up into here as well. Um, so yeah, that'll work. Okay, we can put... Uh, our other warp seeds in temporarily. We'll just stick them here just to help keep temperature low. We are digging away over here. We're going to go ahead and mop this out since our water has gone down far enough. And I think that uh, is about it for our episode that we're running out of time. Um, accomplished a lot. I'm just looking around to see if we have anything else that uh oh look there's another vent up here that's really good we'll have to uh slowly work our way up here and see what it is <laughs> need to explore this area anyways so that'll be good um just looking around if there's anything else here before we close out for today. We've got a lot of uh, different areas. We've got some more fresh water up here. That's always good to see. Uh, we have no shortage of water, though, at the moment. Um, uranium, more uranium ore over here. Okay. Um, simply because we have this hot water vent and we have this salt water we can turn into fresh water and stuff as well. So we've got lots of water. Um, on this asteroid, so I don't think that's going to become a problem. All right, well, when we return in the next episode, we're going to try to get this up and running. Uh, we'll have to figure out our power system and how we're going to run that and manage it, um, drain all of this out and everything still, um, and then go on from there. So thanks for joining me today, and we shall see you in the next episode.